So we're going to use the Virgilis project to analyze a specific structure and see the differences over time. So we go on Virgilius. We're going to select Windows 10 1809. And we're going to look for the e-process structure. So we can use the copy button to copy the, the structure. We're going to name that eProcess Win 10 1809. Now we're going to go and to the latest version of Windows 10. Actually, we're going to compare it with Windows 11. Now let's compare the two versions. So the first thing we can see is that they have different size. And actually, most of it seems to have changed but it's because the size of the actual PCB structure, which is the K process, has a different size. So all the fields have different offsets. So the first thing we want to do is to actually remove the, the actual offsets from the files. So we're going to basically replace the slash slash OX something as a regular expression with nothing. So now that we have done that, we can see that there are a lot of changes that are not real changes. So let's look at the different changes. Here we see a field that has been removed. Here we see a device map that was changed from void star to x fastref. So if we look up what x fastref is inside Virgilius, we can see it's actually a union of different types. And one of them is a void star, and it has a ref count. So we continue looking at other changes. We see that there is a flags three, which is a union of different flags. And some new flags have been added. So for instance, if we look up VM processor host transition on Google, We see it's referenced on the on this website, and we see that actually this flag has been added in Windows 10 2004. So we need more investigation to figure out what it what it is. We can look up disallow user terminate. So what it tells us is that at a certain time of Windows 10, this flag was introduced, which we've just seen. And what it does is basically any process that has this flag set cannot be terminated from user mode. This allow user terminate. So we continue looking at other changes. So we see that there is spare zero, but actually spare zero used to be here. So actually, spare zero was not removed. It was actually just moved to another place close to the machine, which is the new one. So we continue looking at the different changes. 
there are a bunch of flags that are new. We can see the union for the mitigation flags too, which as you can imagine are defining mitigations in place for that particular process. So the first thing we see is that the CET shadow stacks flag has been renamed into CET user shadow stack. Then if we look at the extended control foreground, So we see that in Windows 10 21H1, XFG was actually released, but not introduced into 21H1. And there is some information that you could read to understand what XFG is about. And then we see at the end additional structures that were added and it would need more investigation to know what this is about. So basically, this shows all the different changes between the two versions we have chosen. And also, you could actually look into the K-process structure as an additional exercise to figure out what other changes have been made between these two versions. Because we know that the offset of the pre of the following field is different, and all the fields have a different offset in the e-process structure due to the k-process changes.